Hey guys, hello gorgeous. Just wanted to wish everybody a very happy new year and a safe and prosperous and healthy 2020. I'm still fighting a bug, so hopefully my uh, healthy 2020 will be starting soon. Uh, but I just want to take a moment to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to everybody. Um, so many awesome people that I've had a chance to chat with, um, talk with over the past year. 2019 was an awesome year. I met so many amazing people. Uh, and I just wanted to take a moment to say I love you all. You guys are so awesome. You've made such a, a positive um, difference in my life and in Luana's life too. I uh, really appreciate all of the, the positivity, the warmth, the love. And uh, yeah, I just, just wanted to say thank you so much. Um, New Year's is a time of resolutions. Um, a lot of people like to make resolutions on the new year. And I don't know, the older I get, it seems to me like a, a pattern uh, repeats and repeats and repeats. And a lot of people don't seem to notice the pattern. They don't seem to recognize the pattern and they just keep repeating the pattern over and over and over again. So there's a lot of people who make the same resolution every single year and it never comes to pass. Um, New Year's comes along and they feel very strongly about it. There's no doubt about it. They're actually very passionate and genuine about those changes. Um, it doesn't feel like they're lying to themselves. I've made resolutions that I didn't keep either and, and I can talk from personal experience. I didn't think I was blowing smoke. Um, I, I was very serious and I have some resolutions this year as well um, and I feel very serious about them. Um, but there's one thing that we can do I think that will help those resolutions come to pass um, and that is uh, what I wanted to talk about in this real talk. It's the power of the pen. So uh, a lot of folks that watch this channel are in my age group. They're from my generation. And so we've kind of got one foot in the old and one foot in the new. So uh, we're very familiar with laptops, um, styluses, you know, writing on digital devices, typing notes and stuff on phones, uh, taking uh, audio notes and, and stuff like that, the digital world. Uh, and we have also got one foot in the old world of lined um, paper in textbooks and writing everything by hand in school. So um, the one thing that I would suggest for anyone who has a resolution out there is uh, if you just think it and you want it and you wish it, um, that's a really hard thing to stay intense about. The reason that I think the resolution comes with so much passion is because it's a it's around a very um, passionate time of year. Um, you wouldn't re necessarily uh, describe Christmas and New Year's as intense, but that's exactly what it is. It's a very powerful feeling. There's a lot of celebration and joy and well-wishing, and so you feel much more strongly about something that you decide that's going to better yourself at the end of December or on January 1st, then you would feel about it, you know, um, June the 4th or some, some date like that, August the, the 17th. It's just, it's a random middle of the year date and why would you get all um, excited about it? So the trick is to hold on to that intensity, that passion, and that's what will help make those resolutions actually uh, come to pass. So uh, in the past, what I found helps and what I'm going to be doing with my resolutions this year is uh, taking advantage of the power of the pen. So uh, for folks in, from my generation, I would highly recommend getting a little notebook. Um, I know a lot of us have phones and, and we think, well, why do I need to carry around a pen and a phone or a, a pen and a notebook? I, I got a phone. I'll just do it in my phone. Uh, well, what I've noticed is that it's just not the same. It's not the same intensity. Taking a note down on a phone or on a laptop, it's just a bunch of text on a screen. And I don't think it has the same effect as opening up 
uh, book with actual paper on it and taking a pen and writing with your hand on the on the paper I will uh, it's all about willpower resolutions uh, come to fruition through willpower and it's just something that I've noticed and if you want to give it a try and see if it works for you as well see if it has the same effect on you um, writing I will do something on a piece of paper with a pen uh, to me is much more inspiring it's a more powerful reminder of the feeling that that resolution came from than writing it on a on a uh, computer screen or keying it in texting it in on a phone it just does not have the same effect it's kind of like the difference if we want to talk about the difference in intensity um it's the difference between watching a movie in IMAX in a theater with surround sound and watching it on your phone with earbuds. It's the same movie, but it's not the same feeling. It's not the same intensity. So resolutions, uh, they come to fruition through intensity, focus, intensity, passion. Uh, so that's just a little thing that I would recommend doing, writing it on, the, uh, on a piece of paper, uh, the power of the pen, and... Um, you don't have to carry it around with you all day long, but leave it somewhere where you'll see it, where it will remind you. Because as we do get older, uh, it, we, uh, we do start to lose the intensity of memories in our head. You may think that you'll just remember it. I'll just keep reminding myself every single day. But um, I think that actually writing it down on a piece of paper is going to make it uh, a lot more vivid, uh, remind you where that original intention came from uh, and help you actually uh, fulfill that resolution so that when August comes around and so many people who are so passionate because there were Christmas lights and Christmas music and uh, everyone was wishing each other well and there was joyful music and nice peaceful snow falling um, when August comes around and all of that is long gone, a lot of people will have forgotten the resolution, forgotten where it came from, and not have seen those resolutions through. And they're going to make those same resolutions again that late December uh, and just repeat the whole cycle all over again. But you could be different. Uh, you, can, you can do this little trick, uh, this little aid that will remind you uh, hopefully with that same intensity and that passion where that resolution came from and August comes around and you've fulfilled your resolution and the best feeling isn't just looking back and saying I did it I said I will and in August being able to write I did that's a good feeling, but what's even better is making new resolutions for yourself in August. New things that you're going to do to try to improve yourself or maintain, because if you're lucky, you might get to a point where you feel like you don't really have to make um, serious, drastic changes in your life, and then it's all about maintaining. Um, I will continue to do the things that make me a healthy, happier person. So. Uh, that's my uh, recommendation for resolutions. It doesn't matter what you come up with, but it's the pen. Not the phone, not the laptop, not the stylus, not good old-fashioned memory, but the power of the pen, good old-fashioned pen, that will actually uh, really help in reminding uh, why you came up with those resolutions in the first place and help you actually see them through. So I hope this helps. Uh, good luck, everybody who made a resolution. Good luck with it. Stick with it. You do have the power. That's where the power is, right here. And that is what holds the pen. So that's another thing that connects. So good luck with your resolutions. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you have a very awesome 2020. And I'll see you soon. Nerd Mistake.